but yet when you get in touch with any of these bubs, they're not interested in operation. Yeah. Hi there, it's Bob again today. So we're over at Fred's. We're going to show another operation large scale. So there's Paul and there's Fred, our father Fred. And this is Douglas Yard, one of the yards that we have over here. This is a termination point. There's a Northland ore dock. There's a K27 locomotive, remote control with it. And it's Denver and Rio Grande caboose. We're switching here. You're running a passenger train, are you? Or train number one. Train number one. So this is again the large scale train operations at Fred's on July the 8th. Well that's an Annie, is it? It's an Annie, an anniversary 460, 10 wheeler as they call them. So we're running, we're running narrow gauge today. This is, there's a large, what we call, this is Peter's Pond. There used to be a pond right there where all that gravel is, but so this is Peter's Pond. There was a lot going on here a while ago. Now it's moved over to Mount St. Helens. And we're switching over here. There's a lot of Annie's out here today. These are anniversary locomotives by Bachman. They're very popular on the narrow gauge setup. There's all KD couplers here. What they're doing is they're finding the car they need for this pickup here, put it on their train, and there's their train. And they'll be heading up to that termination point at the end up there, at Craig Lee, eventually. That's where they're heading for. Here's some more of the track. Hey. So this is more switching operations. So what's your locomotive? What is it? Is that a C19 or C16? The what? No, that you go the other way. It's just an Annie. Oh, is that an Annie too? That's an Annie. Oh, I thought it was larger than the Annie. Yeah. Anyway, we'll 
carry on from here. <clears throat> Another location over here. This is aggregates and cedar rock crusher. These are just names of the locations that people go to to pick up their cars and trains. <laughs> 